we are at the Christmas tree farm and we are picking up our flocked tree. Christmas is already here. Christmas is early. We're getting our tree way earlier than we've ever gotten it. But we don't even care because it's time to celebrate. <laughs> it's that kind of year, 2020. So we are picking up our beautiful tree and I'm so excited. Oh, thanks. Oh, look how big that one is. There's 72 here. I don't want the extra plastic there to be the bits of... Yeah, what kind of car you got? Guys? You cut it now, but... That's... What's the best way to... Here's is it going to be okay on top of my car? Where are you going to go? Uh, just through to Penny Canyon to PCH. This is our... Our flocked tree. We're like the first people here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the early birds. Shake that. Shake it. No, shake it out. Do you think this part could go this way? Uh, we could try. You know, yeah. take it into the door to go. Okay, if okay. if you think, just so, because yeah. I don't mind if the trunk gets all this stuff on it, but uh. All right, it's going in. You can go through the middle too if you need it. I I, I think you'll be able to go in, go at an angle. Then. And I can go like this too. So. All right, it's in. Almost. Yeah. Wow, go. nice. All right, we have got our tree. It is in the car. And we're gonna bring our little baby home. <laughs> we got our tree very, very early this year, but that's okay. He was like, you guys are the first people to get your tree. <laughs> Literally, it was empty. But we're, gonna, we're leaving in like mid-December, so we wanted to get our tree early so we could enjoy it before we leave for the East Coast to see our families. They wish you a Merry Christmas. Nick puts on the they reggae version of Christmas music. Merry Christmas and a dance. An Merry Christmas, Mon. Making a little holiday drink tonight. We're gonna start with some espresso because we're tired and some eggnog, holiday coconut milk eggnog, some rum, and cinnamon. Christmas eggnog maker. There we go. <laughs> His Stay necklace on and everything. And All right, I'm gonna top it with some cinnamon. Cheers. So the decorations are complete. We have our stockings up and a garland and we kept it all flocked like I told you guys I was going to do. We finished the tree. We ended up adding some red to it. It was originally going to be all white but Nick really wanted to add some red so we did and I do like how it turned out still. And if you already saw my last vlog, you probably already saw these decorations over here that I videoed already. But I got this new candle that you guys have to smell. You have to try, it's called. Oh my God, it's amazing. It actually smells like fresh Christmas tree. So if you don't have a real Christmas tree, definitely get that. It smells like heaven. And the tree is done. We have finished our decorating. I added like these big white balls in that I was kind of unsure about at first, but I do like how, I think I do like the big white balls in the end. But yeah, it's kind of like a candy cane tree. <laughs> hey 
Hey guys, so I figured I would do a little try on haul with you with some new pieces I got from Esty Gal, also Boohoo, and lastly, this box <laughs> from ASOS. So I'm gonna do a whole haul with all this stuff and um, try and make it quick, but I just wanted to show you guys everything I got. Okay, so the first thing I got from Esty Gal, oh, is this really pretty coat, so. It's fall, obviously going into winter, and um, I said, oh, this is actually a shacket. I'm so into shackets right now. This one is so cute. It is plaid. So this is it. I usually like them a little bit more oversized, but I think this was like the last size they had, and I just liked the brown. So this is the first thing I got. Super cute. Um, love the color. Browns for fall right now are great. So... This little shaka is so easy to throw on, I feel like, and make an outfit. So that's the first thing I got. Also got these pants. I wanted to show you guys. They have like a cut in the middle like that. And um, I actually have them in white. Like the pockets are gone. And they're definitely very extra, but I think that they're fun and like a fun detail. Um, I wouldn't style it like this. Um, I would even probably like wear tights underneath is really cute. I've seen people do... Um, but yeah, it's kind of just like an edgy look, so I grabbed them in black also because I've been seeing them everywhere and I think they're really trendy and fun. Next up is this little cardigan. Um, I really like it. It's not, doesn't fit as tight as I would like, but I do still like it. Um, it's just a little collared cardigan with buttons down the middle. I could even undo this button too if it's not too risky, <laughs> but I like the, um, detail on it it's soft I like the collars so this is just a cute little cardigan All right so I also got this little leather jacket believe it or not like I just like don't feel like I have one anymore that's like this just a cute cropped one I have a really cute oversized one but I feel like I needed a cropped and the material looks pretty good I like the little zipper and buckle detail down here and I just think it's a cute little cropped leather to throw on so I picked this up also. I got this little lounge set. It says, you know, you can read. <laughs> and it's just so comfy. Um, I saw that they had this before and I like wanted it so bad it sold out so quick. So I hope it's not sold out by the time I post this, but I'm sure they'll restock it. Um, the shorts are kind of long, but I feel like you can fold them up. Um, and yeah, it's just like the comfiest set. So I had to snag this. So the other thing I got from Nasty Gal was this Champs uh, crew neck. I just thought this was so cute. I could measure, like, imagine a collar underneath it and like a tennis skirt or jeans and a jacket. It's just such a cute crew neck and easy to throw on, um, especially during the, the fall and winter. Crew necks are so cute right now. And material, it's very soft on the inside, which is nice. And a super comfy sweatshirt. I call everything little. <laughs> so next up is this cardigan. Cardigans are so great right now and so cute for fall. Um, I love the button detail on this one and how it's like plaid like this. Very clueless vibes. Um, I just wanted to throw this on for you guys. I already had it, but I wanted you to see it because I think they restocked it in a few other colors. So grab it while you can. And also these black booties are seriously my favorite. I've had them since last fall. But um, again, they're back on the site, so I wanted to show them to you guys. They have a square toe and a nice heel, and they are just like my go-to booty. So definitely grab these while they're available on the site because everything goes so fast. They're so cute. You could literally roll your jeans and have them. They're just such a cute boot. So grab them like you can. So this is the last thing I got from Nasty Gal. Um, it's so cute. I had it in the past and I lost it and I was so upset. So um, it's just like this little leather coat um, and I've worn it before like with nothing underneath um, and it's just like a cute little coat or obviously you can layer it. Um, I just think the leather looks pretty good on it and it's so cute. Um, I've seen like many takes on it from other style like other brands who have one similar to this one but this one I just always love. Um, so I had to get it again because I lost it and I just love it and the pocket details perfect I just think it fits so nice 
and it's cheap and affordable and it looks like it's expensive so we always like that <laughs> so what i got from boohoo is this cute little black top um so simple but honestly like i just needed a little top like this like perfect for going out to dinner for the holidays um i love the little puff shoulders so i just snagged it because i thought it was actually really cute i love the ruffle detail and it's just a cute top so grabbed that i got some more flannels um i love oversized flannels this one i was like literally gonna share with nick these two I got actually because they're so big and oversized. This one is like a two-toned ombre one. Um, actually, so is the other one I grabbed. So it's like a brown, again, brown for falls, and I love the two different shape shades. So this one's so cute. Literally, me and Nick will share these. Um, just really cute to throw on top of outfits and I just love this love this color of this one alright so this is the next flannel I grabbed again with the ombre two different colors on the back it has like a big championship um, logo on the back and I just thought again this is so cute to throw on top of like basic outfit and it's oversized love a oversized flannel so this is another cute one that I can share with Nick and you can also like kind of wear it off the shoulder. Um, probably not with this outfit, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So I love this one also. Got this little turtleneck dress. It is big. I can like fold it up like this, shorter. I just thought this was cute to put like flannels on top of or something. Um, I liked the cable knit detail. Not like as fitting as I would have hoped, but I feel like with something on top, it would look cute to layer with. I got this Sherpa also, and I thought it was so cute, soft, and this would also look really cute, I feel like, on top of the um, sweater dress like this. I just feel like these are an essential for your closet, for sure. This one's so soft and cozy, and it actually has like these jaw string drawstrings you wanted to make it a little bit more defined so I wanted to show you guys what I got from ASOS and first up is this trench coat it's just such a good classy trench coat um so elegant it has like these side this detail on the sleeves along with like the buckles up here I just think it's so classy and I love the color and I just had to snag it so I grabbed this teddy bag i feel like these teddy bags are so in right now and so adorable this is like a brown one and i just think it's so cute so i also grabbed this fluffy and adorable and big so you can hold a bunch of things and i just wanted to get my hands on one of these because i don't have a big one like this so i grabbed that and then also this bag i just saw it and i had to grab it so cute the perfect size i love the ruche detail just also really really easy to wear this one you could definitely wear with a bunch of different outfits so this is so so cute so i wanted to show you guys the boots i got from asos these white ones have like a platform a black platform at the bottom like this and um i just thought they were so adorable kind of reminded me of the doc martens and i just loved the chunky bottom so these were the first, I rolled up my pants so you guys could see, these are the first shoes I picked out from ASOS, the chunky ASOS boots that I'm sure you've seen all over Instagram. Um, they are really chunky and they kind of remind me of like the dupe of the Prada ones. I have like the short Prada ones but not the tall ones, so this reminds me of the tall ones and they are just so fun and I feel like a great boot for winter and fall. Right, so also these like brown slacks, um, kind of like dad style slacks, and these shoes that everyone is obsessed with, they're little loafers, um, so adorable, and this sweater vest is not ASOS, but I just paired it so you could kind of get the look. But these little loafers are also from ASOS, and they're kind of similar to the tall ones, 
but they're just loafer version. Okay, so that's it for my mini hauls. Um, I hope you guys liked this. All right, we just came over to Soho Warehouse in downtown LA. My parents are staying and visiting um, right now, and we're gonna have a little Thanksgiving dinner tonight here at Soho Warehouse, and the new hotel is so cool. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour of their hotel room. Friendsgiving with the fam! <laughs> mashed potatoes, garlic green beans. All right, it is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, babe. Thanksgiving, woo! You're on your phone. Let's do it. And gobble, we, gobble. <laughs> we are currently, let me put this here so it's easier to, we are currently on our way down to Laguna Beach to go see Nick's family. He's still on his phone, working. Babe, I'm gonna throw it in two minutes. It's uh, Black, Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. Okay, but it's Thanksgiving morning. You can do this tomorrow, please. Okay. Five, four, no, I gotta throw three. this away, babe, what? Oh my God, he's working on Thanksgiving. Please put your phone away. No, I gotta do something real quick. One second, please. Babe! What? Oh shoot, we gotta order. Yes! We gotta order. We're at Starbucks. Okay. What do you want? Maybe we get the bacon, sausage, and egg wrap. Babe, we're not eating that shit. Or you can't eat that, yeah. Ooh, yeah, obviously. And we're going to Thanksgiving right now. We don't need anything. Let's just wait. The, uh, we're getting the chestnut praline. So we are here for the chestnut praline coffees because we need it. It's like 9 a.m. on our way down to Laguna to spend um, Thanksgiving with Nick's family. Um, we're going to have brunch when we get there, so I don't understand why you need food. We don't need food, babe. Let's just wait. Nick is working. Not supposed to work today. Just do a couple of things. It's fine. It's not fine. No, I just want to look at a couple of things. All right, here for the chestnut praline lattes. Are you excited for the chestnut praline latte? Yeah, you're being, you're being annoying right now. He's so annoying, and he's working on Thanksgiving. So I'll check back in later, and hopefully he's off his phone. But we're here for the chestnut praline lattes, yo. It's so good. I can't. Oh, what am I doing? Mm. You got it with whipped cream though? Yeah. Nick got it with whipped cream. Chestnut praline lattes though. Oh, it's good. He's finally off his phone. Oh. It's the kill. Mm. I got mine with almond milk. Nick got whipped cream. Cheers. Cheers. Off to a good day. Off to Laguna to go celebrate Thanksgiving with his family. Happy Thanksgiving. We are running into Whole Foods. You're not I know, so I'm gonna put it on when I walk in. Um, running into Whole Foods to grab some flowers and some stuff for the vegan pumpkin pie we're making. So, I'm gonna get some stuff now. All right, mission complete. We picked up some flowers, some last minute food items we needed for baking, and off to go see the family. Got some quiche. We are brunching good. Smells good. You want me to do yours? Give him brunch. Nice. Nick's got the bacon. Not for me, though. All right, guys, it's Thanksgiving. This is Caroline, hey. my little sis. And we are making a pumpkin pie. Yippee ki -yay. Vegan pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. Yippee ki -yay. Yippee ki -yay. <laughs> And yes, sorry if it's loud in the background. Nick does not want to turn down the TV. <laughs> We've got our pumpkin puree. Coconut cream. Wait, we didn't forget coconut cream, did we? No. Nick, we bought coconut cream. Have you seen it? Found it. Coconut cream. Mm -hmm. All right, preheat oven, we're using a toaster oven. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Okay, how do we start? Add all pumpkin pie filling ingredients to a blender. Oh, you add it all into a blender, that's funny. Interesting. You guys have it? Yeah, we have a Nutri-Roll. Should we use this with a Nutri-Roll? Mom! Yeah, that's good. Back in action. Mm -hmm. We found, apparently you don't even use the bowl, so. Well, yep. We don't need the bowl. <laughs> You're gonna pull, put it all in a blender. Your mom is gonna kill us because we need a measuring cup. <laughs> you know where it is? Um, we need more stuff and we don't wanna bug your mom anymore. We'll be right back once we find the measuring cup. All right, we found the measuring cup. Pumpkin puree. Mm -hmm. You know how to do this? 
Um, <laughs> you don't not, know how. Not, oh, I thought you were joking. Not the she man. actually doesn't know how. Yeah, I actually don't. I'm not a cooker. I don't feed the chef. all night. I'm not a chef, I mean. Cooker? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a chef either. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> It's like exploding and we can't This is why we don't cook. This is why we don't cook. I don't know where anything is. We're very bad, but we're... Here, you want to do that. Put that yeah. in there, one cup. I'll get the other thing started. Mm -hmm. Ew, it's just like sliding out. Yeah. Mm. It's slippery. <laughs> one cup coconut cream. So we'll start opening this. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's all going to fit in this little blender. But. Oh, God. That could go out on the sides. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it so small? <laughs> it's so. <laughs> I think we should use the other one. Yeah, the retro. <laughs> okay, We're like, can we use this one? Just like it's retro. This could work though. But when's the last time it's been used? <laughs> Let's try it's right. All right, we'll try this one first. We're gonna put this in, and we we have two. So if we have to separate the ingredients, we just oh work. god. Okay, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You continue that. I'll start opening this. Coconut milk. There we go. All right. So one cup pumpkin puree, one cup uh, <laughs> coconut cream. Ooh. It's that was thick. a whole <laughs> Yeah. Looks like paint. Um, one cup. Co How is this gonna. Oh, God. Did you hear the chop? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're gonna blend this part first before we add anything else, I think. <laughs> Please. Should we put, like, something down? We'll just clean up after. This looks like my lizard's poo. Okay, we're gonna blend <laughs> her lizard's poo. She does have a lizard. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh,. Bearded dragon. Yeah. Not an iguana. I keep calling it an iguana. Okay. okay, let's blend this. Got some nice background music. For yeah, from the next show that he will not turn down. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We gotta blend these first. We're making a pie. Sounds cranky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One cup brown sugar, that's a lot. Do you want to do that? Yeah. And the chunky milk. the chunky milk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, now we gotta add one chunk. Babe, could you turn it down just a fraction? Just well, I have a subtitle on it's so low. Okay. Oh, ah! Caroline. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing? <laughs> Your mom's gonna kill you. Like, actually, I feel like you need help. You need parent supervision. I think and I that do. is me. Okay. Don't worry, we're good. Oh, I guess I'm just mad. I don't think we need you either. Okay, okay, okay. And the chunky milk. This is so bad. <laughs> I don't think it's enough, actually. This is why we don't Should we cook. just take this? This is what I'm saying. Yeah. The counter. The counter sugar. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> all right, I think we kind of have to use the other one, and then we'll mix them all at the end, I guess. This is gonna be interesting. Stick to the chunky milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna want this rest. <laughs> this looks like a mess, but it's gonna taste good, I promise. <laughs> yeah. We think. <laughs> we will clean up. <laughs> yeah. We promise. <laughs> We can't even see the mess we made. It's not good. One teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll put it in that one. What a good movie that was. Cool. Mm. One teaspoon ginger. Heck. <laughs> can you mute this? It's just the. <laughs> Didn't I just ask that? <laughs> oh my god. Baking, you have to be very exact, but. I don't know. No, I don't think we're exact. Um. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be very exact. Mm -hmm. One eighth teaspoon? Like, how are we even gonna figure that out? <laughs> oh, we just God. have a spoon. I mean, one... I think I do have teaspoons. So you do? Like an actual measure that's like a smaller one. Is this a teaspoon? 
Oh, that would have been helpful. Oh, perfect. Yeah, thanks. Now she tells me. <laughs> so, so far, what do we have in here? Brown sugar, cinnamon, and the ginger. We're so festive. So festive. One eighth teaspoon, so a little bit less than a full. Hmm. I guess. Good thing you read it again, or <laughs> yeah. So there we go. There we. Go. Again, <laughs> who has a one eighth teaspoon measure? I don't know. <laughs> one half teaspoon of salt. Salt. Going mm -hmm. once, going twice. Um. What was that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we found salt. Half teaspoon of salt. We need three tablespoons of that into anyone, really. Well, at least it's kind of easy. Yeah. Ish. Ish. So you want to do it this time? Do you know how to use this thing? You just like press in. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. and then like... For some reason, we have a mini blender, but. <laughs> Could you turn that off? <laughs> Let's throw this in there. Oh! <laughs> I think it's gonna overflow. This is a mess. This is a mess. Oh no! It may or may not overflow. And if it does, we're gonna be in trouble. how creamy this is looking though and actually delicious. Okay. It smells like burning something, but uh oh it does. Oh no. The creeper. Alright, so here is the pie. Caroline is gonna christen it. And, <laughs> and pour it in there. Good luck. Open that. You're on your own. You're on your own. <laughs> Nick, you're gonna have to open this for us. Nick. Is it? <laughs> Nick it's... is making his debut. <laughs> Come make your debut. Say hello and happy oh, thing. Oh, Say happy gosh. Thanks Say happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Come on. Mm, it smells good. Uh, it smells burnt. Yeah, it smells like pumpkin y. Caroline, this is all you. Really nice. Mm. Yes, there we go. That shit looks good. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's kind of low, but I think it'll rise, right? Yeah, we're such great cooks. So good. You know, it took a while, but high five, Caroline. We will see you guys in an hour once this bakes, mm -hmm. and we'll see how it turns out. Peace. Zoom in. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, she's cool. Right. Freshman year, like, That's so funny. Yeah. 94.1. Like, it's fabulous. Yeah. Right, we got People a love Trump and Pompeo. Full Thanksgiving yeah. plates. Um, we did his golf magazine behind Mar a Largo. It's his golf course, which is like three. Yeah. Trains and automobiles and the whole, I don't know if you, it's like a. Alright, so me and Nick decided to do, take a little walk this morning. We miss it here so much. It's so beautiful. We picked up some really lattes, is. some matcha. Mm -hmm. Just so stunning. It's like I feel like we don't get the same watercolor in Malibu like we do there here. It's just unreal. Oh, we're like ready to move back. <laughs> Stunning. Look at that. Bloody Mary. Day after Thanksgiving. Tradition. Day after Thanksgiving, you gotta do it. <laughs> We're making it up as we go. <laughs> it's a fun All right, we're at our favorite bagel place in town. It's literally life changing. Yeah.
use a lot more. <laughs> they just got the goods, and we love lemon pepper here because they're like, they're famous for their lemon pepper avocado bagels. So Nick just got like a hundred. My mom's is a hundred of them. So stoked. Winning! <laughs> How many lemon peppers did you get? A lot. <laughs> and then we're walking home. Lemon pepper bagels. Wow. 